Do you see there being important skills for individuals to develop or skills that individuals could develop that could be very valuable in the near future? Well, I will always tell everyone in the United States to learn Spanish. <laughs> it's already mm -hmm. our second language and it's going to be the second language of the, it's the second language of the Western hemisphere as a whole. So that's a solid mm -hmm. one. Uh, as the baby boomers move on and the new generations take their place, uh, we need to get back into blue collar and manufacturing in a very big way. We, we can't rely on the rest of the world to help with that. We can't rely on the Mexicans to help with that because they have a baby bust going on as well. So anyone who can do kind of the nuts and bolts stuff of the economy, electricians, plumbings, I, I, plumbers, I, I realize that sounds a little lowbrow, but we've been discriminating against those uh, sectors for 40 years now, and it shows. And mm -hmm. the baby boomers were the last class that really had that full set, and they're retiring. So, you know, we're going to have first year plumbers making $85,000 a year within three or four years here. And, you know, if, if you want to work to get money, that might be a solid choice for you. Uh, beyond that, uh, the nature of skills in general, one of the great things about the industrial revolution is it generated demand for both very high skilled labor and very low skilled labor. If you were on the high end, you would design the refining systems. You would design the parts. If you were on the low end, you would work the assembly line, but that all requires mass production consumption. That world's going away. We're gonna have a lot smaller runs of things that are gonna to have to be adjust on the fly. And the technologies that look most promising, things like 3D printing, computer design, machine shops, that is where the future of that will be. It'll be a, a more irregular thing because you're not just churning out the same part for hundreds of millions of product. What you're making is going to change every week, but the value out of that is huge. So that's where the big jobs of the future are going to be, that kind of micro manufacturing, custom manufacturing work. And again, I hate saying this, New Jersey's perfect for that. How funny.